Hello, and welcome to a new series we're working on the channel. It's a college revamped um, series. Um, our head coach is going to be Mark Morris, as myself, and we are going to be um, playing on the regular amount of the actual. The, we're going to be playing on All American. Eight minute quarters. We're going to be playing with Georgia Southern. A kind of newer school into the um, NCAA. Um, I, oh, well, Division One, not me. But because I, I used to only play on the older version, and I got the revamped, so cool. And this, and Georgia Southern was not in it before. But we're gonna be playing as Georgia Southern. They are 72 overall. Not a lot of to. Let me just tell you first. Not a lot to be excited at this school. Um, you got a one at this point. You have a one-year school history with a one and eleven season. Let's sign the contract. Um, and we got we have to go with the scouting for our head coach, for Scott Sloan, our defensive coordinator. I think we want to get our um. We want to get our players to be better at power moves and finesse moves. Because I, me, I, me, I personally like using the defensive line. Just because I don't really, I do mess with the other guys, but I don't, it just makes me feel a bit better at the game instead of being a useless piece of shit. Because I am really bad at this game. Let's first look at our, right, well, let's first look at the, um, the roster. At starting quarterback, we have, um, Justin, um, Tomlin. He is 5'1". And he is a junior, redshirt junior. He is. I played with this team before. He is actually pretty good, but definitely not as good as some, something you would probably get um, from the from um, recruiting. And let me just scroll through everything else that we got here. But he, we have all these guys down here. Also, another really fun guy um, that you guys should be looking out for is um, JJ McCaffrey. He uh, he's really good. And let me just scroll through all of this. Okay, and let's, let's show us our schedule. So, week one, we're going to be playing um, Wisconsin, Wisconsin. Then we're going to go play the uh, Mountain Cats. I don't know which team exactly this is supposed to be in real life. Um, and then we have Kansas State, um, Vanderbilt. Then we got our first bye week in week five. We then go play in interdivision, well, interconference games. Then we got a bye week on week 11, and we are gonna be done then that's when we're done for the whole season and let's let's show you the top top 10 well, not top 10 but let's show you the the um upcoming recruits and i'm at throughout this series as these the top 10 recruits um start signing i'll show you um i'll show you more in-depth um player um profiles of these guys but the top 10 guys right now is top 10 um calibers players are um, Rick Mosley, an uh, athlete from Big Spring, Texas, Brandon Harrell from, I'm not even going to say that, and I think that's Maryland, I'm not sure, but we got a running, well we got, I'll show you guys later, but we got an athlete, running back, and middle linebacker, athlete, receiver, athlete, athlete, running back, athlete, athlete, I mean, running back, my apologies, and Right now, it doesn't look as, as strong as a quarterback class, but let's see. Let, let's see who. I'll come back um, after I'm done looking at all the guys, and I'll show you um, who we got on our board. Okay, so this is what our um, scouting board, I guess, group. Oh, not a scouting board. Our um, board looks like right now. There's not a lot of major guys. I, I'm. I, I haven't really looked at a lot of these guys. That the, the, these guys either had interest or they were Juco transfers, which 
I think it's actually a really good I good idea for people to do in their first season is to recruit Juco transfers because they're they're guys who are able to perform right away. And if you don't, if you're not starting with the best of teams, you may, very well could be fired in your second year, which I'm hoping that doesn't happen to me. I'm hoping I stay a very long time at um, Georgia Southern and I don't have to restart. But yeah, moving on, we have um, Benjamin Wesker Weskerberg. It right now he looks like a I'm gonna say maybe he looks like a pocket passer. He doesn't look like he has really good speed, and he does not go up any overall points. And another guy I'll show you is Anthony Porter. He looks. They're saying he's a scrambler. Eh. I guess he's a pocket passer. We do have more extra points on him. And I think we are going to try to pursue um, Anthony Porter because he is a three-star. He, 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 unlike um, Benjamin Weck, Weckberg right here, who actually, um, he is actually a Fuko transfer. So, and he's not going to even be better than the quarterback that we already have. So, Anthony Porter, um, I think we're going to go again. Yeah, yeah definitely. Oh crap! Right? Uh, uh, oh god. Another guy I got on here is um, Walter Douglas. He's an art. He's a guy who had actually he does have interest in school. Never mind. He is probably gonna be a guy I'm gonna try to get to because this school does not have a lot of good fullbacks. Well, not good fullbacks, but they don't have fullbacks in general. And they, the school, the team. Oh god, I can't speak. Ignore me, but I'm gonna go through here and I'll show you guys who is good and who's bad. Okay, so one of the guys I think actually would be pretty good is Pope here. Um, he has 88 speed, which is actually it's really fast, and I th I think we can actually do something with it, even though his coverages aren't that good. Another guy that I am interested in, even though um, I really didn't get to see much except the route running, which is actually pretty good, and stamina. But, um, I want Jim Sullivan. Week 1, I am putting, um, 500 points on him. I don't care. He looks really good. I don't want him to go to Bama. I don't want him to go to Georgia. I don't want to go to LSU. I don't want him to go to Notre Dame because they won't, he won't play there. Well, here, even though he'll probably only be here for two years, he will be good for two years. Maybe one if we get some good recruits. But, also, I want to tell you something about this game. You don't get good recruits at the start. This, let me show you, let me show you my big board, my recruiting board. No one here, besides the one guy, is over a 79, I mean over a 75. And normally I say, I think, if you're a 75 or below, there's no chance you're going to make it to the NFL draft in this game. Unless you have major development and you, or you're redshirted in your freshman year, there's no way you're gonna make it to the make it to the draft in this game. It's real. It just sucks because you have to be a 90 overall even to be thought of any good. Even if you win the Heisman, you may not even be drafted because you're 80. You're like an 89, and you're not gonna get drafted. It sucks. And like, even if you have a bad like bad four years, you're still and you have but you're 99 overall. You're still gonna be drafting that in the first round. I, that's the one thing I really don't like about this game, but it's it's something nothing that the college free fan people could do. But we are gonna move into um, week one of the season, and I'm gonna show you um, the big board. Not big. Yeah, I'm just gonna call it the big board from now on because this is definitely what it's called. And I will be back once. Um, I fill out all the points and I'll show you where we're at and I will um, give you one last um, taste of something before we actually get in, into games in the next episode. Okay guys, so um, before I end up this video because I um, I do have something special to show you. Um, this is our um, look of our team right now and um, well, our board, our big board. We are putting, we're not putting on points of, you know, a lot of people. I am putting points on both of the quarterbacks. They, they're starting to look not as good as I thought they were going to be. 
Um, and if this stays through and we can't get a quarterback um, through recruiting, it looks like our cor our current quarterback is going to stay as the starting quarterback. I'm not putting it. I'm not putting a lot of points in these guys. I am putting points in the, the fullback, and I'm, I like I said earlier, I'm going full full in for Jim um, Sullivan. He just looks really good. I, I think he may be the bad guy. Well, I I'm actually who I'm almost almost as interested as um, um, Jim here is Paul Barbour. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to say that anymore, but. He looks really good for a guy who's had a Juco, and he has a plus five. And if it's plus five right now, it can go. That can go up and have a. At, I'm gonna say maybe even like a plus like seven, and he can be an 80 overall as he comes in. And I, I think um, last thing I the last thing I want to show you is a little preview of the next. Not next game. Preview of our team.